Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question I got a little while ago from Motions and I apologise for the delay in answering this one. I'm slowly working through all your requests so bear with me. Uh, this one's about having a task that can not only succeed but can also fail. So I'll show you how to set that up. Um, in addition to that I'm going to show everybody, um, regardless of what it is that you want to do with your missions, something that's going to save you a lot of time when you're making your missions, and that is to save a task set composition. Now I'll explain exactly what that is. So I've got down a playable unit, and I'm going to create a task, but I want to save this series of modules um, to save me a lot of time. So obviously firstly we're going to need a create task module. Then we're going to need a set task state. Now we're going to grab another set task state. So we've got two of them. Okay. Then we're going to need a task destination. Um, this is not required, but it's going to help you and I'll show you why. And then we need some triggers. So I'm going to place down a trigger to activate the task. And I'm going to place down two more triggers here. Okay. One and two. So we've got a create task module and two set task state module and a set task destination module. And you can get all of those from F5, Intel, uh, create task, uh, set task destination and set task state. So what we're going to do, as we would normally do, is we're going to synchronize the create task module to the set task state by right clicking going to connect and sync to. Now we've got to do that with both of them. Additionally we're going to synchronize the create task module to the set task destination module. Then we're going to sync the set task state module to this trigger and we're going to then connect this set task state module to that trigger so we don't need to connect these together or these together uh, and lastly we're going to uh, right click connect sync to the create task module now what we have here is a task set um, for a task that can either fail or succeed. To help you remember what these are, what I'm going to get you to do is next to the create task module, right click and go down to place comment. And in the place comment title, um, just put in something like task module. Okay. Next to this one, place another comment by right clicking and go to place comment and put in there task succeeded module and right click over here place comment task failed module and that needs to go next to that one there and next to this trigger here we can place another comment that says activate task trigger uh, and this one here another comment task location uh, here because we've got this one as succeeded task state We'll place another comment here. Succeeded. My spelling is probably incorrect. Task trigger. And another comment here. Failed task trigger. Now, you may be wondering why I've asked you to put all of those down. Okay, the reason is 
I want you to highlight all of those right click so they're all highlighted and go down to save custom composition now uh, you can call it whatever you like I'm going to put, call it um, AAA task set okay now um, you've got that saved as a composition okay so in your editor you go to compositions which is F2 and then over here you have custom click on that and you will see that when I manage to find it because I do have a lot of compositions there we go AAA task set left click once click on the map and look at that you've got all of your task modules all set up and ready to go you don't have to place them down and every time you can do this you can just grab the task set and paste it again and again and again okay so that's the first thing I'm going to get you to do that's going to save you a lot of time when you're making missions so you can just drop the task set down so you've got the create task two set states and task location so let's go on with how it is that we're going to make all of this work okay so here's a demonstration of a task that can either succeed or fail so what I'm first going to do is place down a uh, civilian and we'll put him into a formal suit so that he looks important and we're going to open him up by double left clicking and give him a variable name of Bob now uh, I don't want Bob to move anywhere um, before we get anywhere near him so after giving him the variable name of Bob I'm going to type in the init this disable AI move um, move is in inverted commas with a semicolon and then I'm going to type this set captive true and semicolon so now Bob won't move and he's also uh, a captive okay so what we now need to do is place down another trigger and this is to do with Bob and I'm going to make this one 10 by 10 by 10 okay and we're going to open this one up and we're going to select the activation type as any player present and in the condition field I'm going to type in there player distance Bob less than two semicolon and in the activation I'm going to type in there open bracket Bob close bracket join space player semicolon Bob enable AI move Bob set captive false semicolon so what that does um, is when a player is at a distance from Bob of less than two meters um, the VIP Bob will join the player uh, will then be enabled for moving and he will no longer be a captive so let's go back to our task now this is the task set we placed down before we've got a trigger here which is the trigger to activate the task so I'm going to open well I'm going to click on that firstly and I'm going to press spacebar four times and now I can resize that okay I'll bring this guy back just a little bit and in this trigger we're just going to double left click and set activation type as any player present and I'm going to set a timer value of five five and five so around the five second mark just before or just after okay 
so um, that's our create task trigger there and when our any player walks into this trigger it will activate the task now let's go to the task and we're going to place the owner of the task as all playable units give it a task ID I'm just calling it task 1 um, and the task title um, escort the VIP to the hangar escort VIP in the description now with this one is a little bit different to other ones you've got to pay attention here for the destination okay and that I have selected as a synchronized object and the task state is assigned click OK the synchronized object for the location is the set task destination module which is synced to the create task module so let's just open that up and we should have yep destination module position show notification what that enables us to do is to drag this module to where the task actually is um, alternatively you can avoid using this altogether by actually dragging the create task module and placing it on the location but I like to have all of this together in one place so it's easier to work on so um, we've got our task and we've got our location of the task which is up here in the aircraft hangar okay so um, we have our task failed state here so if we double click that we'll see the state is not created assigned succeeded it is failed okay so we need a trigger to set that task condition to failed remembering that this guy's variable name here is Bob if we put into the failed trigger condition exclamation mark alive Bob semicolon the task will fail if Bob is killed while he's being escorted to the hangar okay now we need to have a look at the task state succeeded module so this one is on the succeeded side so the task state is set as succeeded and to succeed this task we need Bob to reach the hangar in one piece so we're going to drag this trigger up there um, and again spacebar four times and we're going to give this trigger a size okay so that when Bob walks into this area the task will be succeeded to make sure that Bob gets to that trigger um, and the task is succeeded is we need to reference Bob's variable name in the trigger condition itself so we'll open up this trigger and we've got activation type let's set that to any player present and in the condition section of the trigger we're going to type Bob in area as one word this trigger semicolon so that trigger will only be completed or fired when Bob is in this area okay so that will ensure that for that trigger to succeed Bob has to have made it to the hangar okay so a quick recap we've got our any player present trigger with a five second delay so when your players walk into that trigger after five seconds or thereabouts the trigger will be assigned and the 
task is to escort the VIP to the hangar. The destination is set as the synchronized object and the task is assigned. Now the synchronized object is the set task destination module which is synced to the create task module. Now for our succeed and failure we've got our set task state succeeded here which is succeeded synced to the create task module and to a trigger that's going to fire that set task state module. That's if Bob makes it to there. Then we've got on the other side set task state failed um, which is failed and in the task failed trigger we have alive Bob which means basically if Bob is not alive anymore the task fails. Um, I've said this before uh, and just a, a refresher if you place if you go to F1 and then over to props and just type ammo and put an ammo box down and you've got um, it's a co-op mission and you want your players to trigger um, a task by entering a trigger if you put an ammo box in the trigger they will go to it every time without fail alright so we've got all of that set up let's now see how that okay time to escort our VIP so we've got an ammo box down which is simply a means by which to get your players to go to it so they walk into a trigger that activates a task and there's our task escort the VIP to the hangar now we're going over to Bob and remember there's a trigger around Bob that gets him to join our group when we're within two meters of him Bob's looking a little creepy nice sunnies Bob Two. join group there we go Bob's joined our group so our task is to escort him safely over to the hangar come on Bob hurry up you can do it man okay when Bob enters the trigger there we go task completed escort the VIP to the hangar Okay, now we're going to show you how uh, it looks when the task fails. Remember that we've set up a succeeded and a failed. So, task has been assigned because we've entered the trigger near the ammo box. Two, join group. Bob's joined our group. We're heading over here. And to get him over to the hangar would mean the task is going to succeed but I've had a change of heart and I don't like Bob those sunglasses annoy me and there we go task failed escort the VIP to the hangar okay so shit we got a man down yeah I see so that's how you do a uh, a task failed task succeed or have one task that is possible to fail or succeed um, there are other things that you can do for example um, uh, an aircraft has got to be at a certain location um, in one piece um, those sorts of things very much revolves around um, setting an alive state for an AI player or even a human player uh, provided they've got a variable name so I hope uh, that answers your question um, and if you've got any comments uh, let us know give us a thumbs up and a subscribe uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video